You can tell it's been a minute. Mm hmm <laughs> You can tell it's been a minute. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Alejandra, and welcome. Uh, I, let me start off by saying my sincerest apologies to all of you because I have gone on a very huge hiatus. I probably haven't posted a video in about a month. Um, that's not to say that I haven't filmed, because I have filmed, I just, you can tell that there was a lot going on. Um, I didn't even want to watch them, so I knew that you guys wouldn't want to watch them either. So, I said, you know what, let me get my life together, and as soon as I do that, I will come back with a new video, um, and we'll, we'll try this again. I really have missed YouTube, and I know that you guys have missed me, because people have reached out to me and asked me. When are you going to come back with another video? We miss your videos. La, 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 la. I am back. I am officially back. I have gotten my life together. Um, and I'm excited. I really am excited. So to kind of give you guys just a little insight on why I stopped filming for a little while. Um, I was going through a lot of transitions in life. I was transitioning jobs. Um, I started a job that was um, overnight. And I was working 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. And then I would, you know, probably have like a few, maybe two, three hours of sleep and then go to my next job. And so I was losing out on a lot of sleep. You know, thankfully, um, I was given an offer uh, for promotion at one job so I could leave my overnight job. And that was exciting because I was like, I can't do this. Like, I would sleep. Days that I would have off, I would literally just sleep like a grizzly bear. I was in hibernation. Like nobody could wake me up. I was done for. So that took a really big toll on my body. Um, and I wasn't going to come on here looking like hell and feeling groggy and just like, oh, this is such a chore. Like, no, I wanted to be here and like physically, mentally, emotionally wanted to be here with you guys. So I was just like, you know what? Once everything gets situated with my promotion and all that stuff, um, I'm going to come back and film for you guys and just give you, again, more quality videos. So quality over quantity is always my motto. Um, and so yeah, so today, that's just like a little background uh, of kind of like what's been going on. But finally, my life is all situated. I am good again. I am working day shifts. I am a happy camper. And we're back to shooting YouTube videos full time. We're back, and I'm I'm freaking excited. And I'm, you know what? I want to give a big, huge thank you and shout out to people who have reached out to me saying that they've missed my videos. You know, ask me when I'm gonna start filming again. Um, I appreciate you guys because I'm like, oh, nobody cares that I'm not filming. Nobody cares that I'm not throwing up videos. But that's not true. It's not true at all. And I'm so grateful for you guys because without you, I don't know if I would have jumped back on camera as fast as I have. So. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who constantly supports me um, in my dreams and everything that I do. You guys are amazing to my friends, my families, my followers. I love you all. Um, and yeah, so let's get started with the video. Today I'm going to be filming, finally, um, my the mystery box that I got from Nicole Guerrero. If you don't know who that is, she is a, a YouTube beauty blogger. Um, I followed her from the beginning of time. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. And I was lucky enough to win her um, mystery box giveaway, which was 12 to 15 pounds of makeup, skincare, hair care, all that stuff, just in a box. So, um, <laughs> this is the box. Um, this is... <laughs> This is like all the stuff that I got. So we are gonna go through all this stuff. Um, and I've already tested it, I have, well, some of it. Um, and I guess I'll just give you guys my review. I want to, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm getting sick. Um, I wanna give a huge, huge thank you to Nicole Guerrero for picking me as a winner. Um, I was really, really excited and just thank you. Thank you for sending me this makeup. Thank you for sending, you know, just even having a giveaway. Thank you for giving away all this makeup. Um, you are truly a blessing and I don't even think you realize it. So thank you. So yeah, without further ado, people, let's get started. 
So I'm going to start with some of the products that I have already used um, that I can give you my honest review on. Um, so my skin was also um, like just terrible. Honestly, it was going through it. Um, and I started using some of the stuff that she sent to me. So let's start with the L'Oreal Skin Experts. It's a pure clay cleanser. It's new. It's an exfoliant. Um, and it's clay to move, mousse, excuse me. And it removes everyday impurities, dirt, oil, and pollution. This one's the red algae. So this, I actually love this and I've seen it in my store at Ulta and I'm like eh. but no like I used it and I actually love it and um it has little beads in it so and I love exfoliation and it's for everyday use I think there are a few others of these um but this one I really really I really really do like it um and it's been working for me. My skin has been clearing up. So along with that, I have also used, this is Lifeline, a brightening toner. Um, small molecule technology, and it's in cucumber melon. Mm -mm. So how I use this is, it says, after cleansing, apply to cotton pads, spreading evenly over face and neck, avoiding eyes. Use morning and evening. So I really like this as well. I use this after I wash my face and I get out the shower. I take a cotton swab, I put some on it, and I just evenly um, just wipe my face, basically. Um, and it really does take out all those that excess like dirt and oil. Um, so I think this really has helped with my acne as well. Um, I don't know how much this costs, but it's really good. And I would suggest it. Another thing that I have been using after that, after I wash my face with the cleanser, after I use the toner, um, I also got from her this Patchology Aqua Flash Daily Gel Moisturizer. And the box looks like this. Let me take it out. It looks like this. I love it. I really do. Once you put it on after the toner, it's you get a little bit of a, like a tingling sensation, but nonetheless, I absolutely love it. And this this three combo has really been working for my skin. Um, my acne, you know, in my cheek area and my chin area has really cleared up um, significantly. So I think that this this little combo right here is working for me. So I'm gonna keep using it until it stops. <laughs> so there's that. I have also used, I got this Sleek Makeup Face Form Contour and Blush Palette. And um, I was like tanning a lot um, this one week and I was like, hmm, I really don't feel like putting on makeup like that when I go out because I just want to embrace my tan and my beautifully, my beautifully bronze skin. So I used this. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> as you can tell um it's really really pretty like really 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 pretty and I would just take a brush highlight my cheek or I like um the highlights of my cheekbones my nose a little bit I would throw a little bit of bronzer and yeah I mean I thought it was pretty pretty good I don't know if I would use it with foundation underneath I haven't tried it that way but as far as just applying on the bare skin, I really did like it. What else did I get? Oh, I've tried this before. So this is the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer. Glides on smoothly to lock in hydration and create gradual, subtle color. And I got this one in medium to tan. Yeah, it's an in-shower color, no rinse. So I've never thought of purchasing something like this. Um, but apparently, um, use in place of your daily body moisturizer and subtle color will gradually appear. Once ideal color is reached, use every other day to maintain. So apparently when you apply this on a daily basis, I guess you start to get like darker? Yeah, I guess. You start to get some color. So <clears throat> I liked it because it would leave me looking 
very wet and shiny and I don't know I really did like it um I only used it for like a few days after I had been like sitting in the sun just to give me that extra glow I wasn't mad about it I really wasn't so yeah I mean if you're looking for something to give you um, a natural glow um, and kind of like help accentuate that uh, tan that you have why not go for it I also got Models Own Cover It Full Coverage Concealer. This one is in medium tan, so I have not used this, but this is probably the only thing that's in my shade that I got. So I'm looking forward to trying that. So yeah, now, I think now we're gonna go through everything else. Um, and I haven't tested out any of the Actually, I did test out this one, so I'm really, really excited about this one, and I'm kind of, kind of sad because it wasn't in my shade. But I got um, the KKW Contour Sticks Contour and Highlight Kit. Oh, what is this? Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. I got some of that. Let's see. I got some Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, full cover, oil-free shine control, QQQ, and natural tan. I don't know if that'll, I doubt that. Maybe, maybe in the winter time this might be my shade. <laughs> I was also really, really excited about this. I got some Fenty Beauty Foundations. Really excited about that. So I got them in 480 and 390. So naturally, I think in Fenty I am 3 330, at least in the wintertime. Um, this one is probably a little dark for me. Yeah, 390 is probably a little bit dark. Maybe if I tan a little bit better. But I'm also kind of. I just opened it and the foundation is absolutely everywhere. What else? What other foundations? Here's another foundation. This is Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Sand. Definitely not my shade, but I'll find someone to use this on. <laughs> what else? Ooh, some more skincare. So <clears throat> I got a Hydroclay Detox Mask mm, from Nurture. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. I haven't opened this yet. Oh yeah. It's Ole Henriksen. Ole Henriksen? Yeah, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> So I got a detox mask. Oh, I'm excited to try this. I forgot that I got that. <clears throat> oh yeah, I got some Keratin Complex Infusion Therapy. Um, I believe this is for your hair. <laughs> Revitalizes the hair with a blend of keratin and emollients. It restores, restores. <laughs> it restores moisture, protects against frizz, and helps seal nourishment into the cuticle, leaving behind silky, shiny finish. So this little thing here, it's a liner and lipstick all in one. Okay, you ring. Oh, so it's revved up red and then beyond sexy lipstick. Okay, so you just twist it up. Put some here for y'all. This is what it looks like. You can see that it's two shades. I'll let y'all see that. Yeah, you can kind of see that it's two shades. I mean, weird. I probably won't ever use it. But, so I got two of those. Ooh. So I got this really cool liquid. Okay, it says no highlighter highlighter. Um, it's by Paracone MD. They recommend that you shake well before use, apply one to do two dots on the bridge of nose, cheek, and brow bones, and gently pat to blend. So, oh yeah, it's like on a, 
little applicator brush. It's cute. That's what it looks like. Mm, it's cute, I guess. I was just expecting more sheen from it, I guess. But, okay, moving on. <laughs> We also got this Iconic London Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. This one is in the shade Deep. Ooh, so I got this all dirty. So again, from Iconic, ooh, y'all can see everything. So from Iconic London. This is um, obviously what you use to the eyebrow tint. And then this little gadget here is really cool. Eh. So it comes double sided, comes with like a little brush on one side and then the um, angled brush on the other. So it's pretty cool. And then you just dip it in there and, well I haven't used anything like this on my eyebrows but I definitely want to give it a try. So I'll probably be using this in a video going forward. What else? This is It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner and it's in black. Come out. So I got that. Covergirl True Naked New Palette. <clears throat> Some pretty colors. Definitely use that in a video. Ooh, I got Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is the Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig cream. It's oil free, 14 hour wear, oil controlling, and photo friendly. I got this in mahogany. What else is this? <clears throat> Some more um, skincare. So I got Dr. Andrew Wheel for Origins Mega Mushroom Skin Relief. It's a soothing treatment lotion. Hmm. Interesting. I want to try that. What? Oh, I also got this Naked Skin Urban Decay. One and done hybrid complexion co uh, perfecter. Pretty sure this is a foundation. I got this foundation shade in medium light. Again, way too light for me. This is I got a lot of good lipsticks. Gosh, there's so much more. <laughs> okay, so we can start off with the MAC lipstick. And this is in the shade Nude Du Jour. Um, we got some Urban Decay Vice lipsticks. Oh, I think this is the same one. It's not. So we, I got Firebird and Frenemy. Heard that shit. So I got these two. Let's pop them open. I don't typically wear very bright lipsticks like this, but shoot. I might. Very pretty packaging they look like Ooh, oh good hurt that oh, shit oh this is like hi how are you <laughs> so these are the two lipsticks very very bright um probably wouldn't wear on myself I don't know bright colors don't look that great on my skin tone Moving on, we also have Smashbox. Is this Smashbox? This is Smashbox too. So this is their liquid lipstick. I don't know what shade this is because I don't think this one has a box. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one didn't come with a box, but nevertheless, this is what it looks like. And it is very dark, but like I'm into it. Oh, snap. This is like black. All right. <laughs> I also got one. What shade is this? In True Grit. It's more of a brown, which I'm really excited to try because I always love me a nice brown lipstick. And then I also got one in Girl Gang. Yes, girl. So. These three shades, it's pretty. I've never worn a black lip. What else do we have? Okay, we also have from Flower, Coral Crush Lipstick. 
<laughs> I should probably show y'all. So this is from Flower. It's the Coral, Cl excuse me, Coral Crush lipstick. Yeah, that's pretty. That's like really, really pretty. Okay, this is NG Cream lipstick. I don't know. It has like a really, I feel like a tester. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's like a nude shade, but like pinkish. I don't know, but I'm here for it. So we also have L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this one is in the shade 372 Petal Potion. This one is from Model's Own Semi Matte Lipstick. Ooh, I've never tried a semi matte. And this one is in the shade Radic. Oh, girl. Okay. What other, what other lipstick? What the heck is this? Oh, Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Lip. It's a two in one lip sculpting pen. All right. Okay. We'll see. Um, what else did I get? Lancome. Hmm. This is Mirrored Nude from Lancome. Excited about that. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, so this is a lip gloss. So it's, whew. Sis. Things that Lan Lancome did. That. Mm hmm. See that? Oh, you can see it from here. Okay. Ow. Yeah, I'm here for that. Mm-hmm. Yup, I'm gonna use that. What else? Ooh, we got another one from Smashbox. And of course, I do not know the shade. This is a metallic matte. Ooh, I've never used metallic, but looking at this, and I just might. I know, I got a lot of stuff, you guys. I'm sorry, bear with me. More lipsticks coming. I was excited about this too because this is the Gigi Hadid and um, the collab that she did with Maybelline. And I saw her stuff and I was like, hmm. This one's in Lani. It's a red. And it's like, it's a red. Okay. That thing red. Miss Gigi, here for it. Mm-hmm. And then this is a major matte, ultra smooth matte lip cream in the shade ha Happy, yeah, from Sleek Makeup. So let's see what that looks like. Oh God, I don't have no more room, y'all. Let's put it over here. Oh, it's very liquidy when you apply it. All right, it's cute, I'm gonna use that, mm-hmm. Yup. Oh, I swear we're like almost to the end. Okay. What else do we have? Alright, so I got a Laura Mercier foundation. This one is in... Oh, no, no, no. This is a foundation primer. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm excited to use this though. Um, This is Urban Decay. I got the eyeshadow primer potion. And Sin. That's the shade. Yeah, it does come in shades. What else do we got here? We got Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Warm. So, packaging looks like that. Pretty sure I got a couple of Nicole Guerrero's hair in my packaging. We don't got no blonde hair over here. <laughs> so, this is what it looks like. So we also have this Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup. Um, it's a blemish treatment, so it has salicylic, salicylic, <laughs> I hate this word. Salis, salicylic, mm. salicylic, salicylic, salicylic acid in it. There we go. So it has, it also has salicylic, <laughs> it has salicylic, Salicylic acid in it, so that helps with acne. Unfortunately, it is not in my shade, it's in the shade buff, so it's very, very fair. <laughs> God, that word hates me. 
We also have Neutrogena's Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector in the shade Fair. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, ooh, some stuff from Milk Makeup. So this is their matcha toner. So I'm kind of excited to use that. I tested it on my skin and it feels pretty nice. And then this is also from Milk Makeup. It's an eye pigment. Um, it's in Peep Show. Ooh. We also have Maybelline's um, Master Precise Ink um, in Metallic. This one's in 540, so violet. That looks fun to play with. We also have L'Oreal's Infallible Paints. Um, this is their one of their mattes. So this one's in the shade 348, which is Velvet Pal. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I know. This one's from BH Cosmetics. Um, Nude Rose Lip Gloss in the shade Fairy. So we got that. These freaking boxes. I'm sick of them. No wonder she gave these all away because who has time? We also have this Million Styles Metallic Lip Coat from Catrice. And this one is like silver. Shade 20. So this one's from Catrice. J Cat Beauty. Is that where it's from? You Glow Girl. It's a baked highlighter in the shade 107 moon and back it's called you glow girl let's get it <laughs> it's very cute packaging oh she said i ain't coming to play with shoe hose put it in the spot y'all can see because okay heard you yeah, mm-hmm, here for it. Use that. We also got something else from Smashbox, which is their makeup. Oh, no, sorry. I to read that wrong. Oh, this is really cute, though. Oh, I get it. It's like a camera lens. This is cute. So this is Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio in Tag Me. Bikini Scene, Belle Beauty Bling, and Spiked Punch. These are some pretty colors, and I'm going to have fun with this. Yes. Their packaging is so cute. It looks like a camera lens. I'm here for it. Smashbox is always hitting. All right. We also have some Sigma Embellish Lash. So this is in big time. Ooh, I'm excited for this because... This is Sigma Beauty's um, mascara, and sis, it's in freaking. Okay, on the camera it looks blue, but it's actually purple, and it's freaking dope. Okay, like how dope? Freaking dope. You want to talk about excited, sis? I'm ecstatic. Okay. L'Oreal, we got some more L'Oreal. Um, Infallible Pro Glow. This is Demi Glow Finishing Powder in Sand Beige. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. So much more. Okay, Lancome, we got the Drama Liquid Pencil. It's an eyeliner. It will come out. So we got another eyeliner, Lancome. Oh, but this one is like, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so this one has like a little bit of metallic in it. So maybe on like a Halloween look, I would use this, but yeah, not on a regular basis. This is Maybelline's Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And this is in silken, silken turquoise. Yeah, this is really pretty. I'm excited to try this. <clears throat> oh, that sis. Look at that. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, using that. I am using that. Oh, but that just got everywhere. 
Okay. What else do we have? We have another one from Lancome. Ooh. This is their Click and Glow Illuminator Fluid. It's highlighting skin fluid. Yes. So it comes with that. Ooh, I'm excited about this. I'm excited. Oh, you pump it. Yeah, you pump it. It says click. All right, we could. Oh, snap. So it, that's how it comes out. Oh, girlfriend. Let's see. Oh, all right. I guess I can go with the brushes now. Okay, so I have some brushes from Iconic London. And I'm really excited about Okay, so this one doesn't say. Okay, well, whatever. This is a blending brush. I know that for sure. I guess I'll just show you the breath. Look in line. Aren't these so pretty? Ah! Oh, static. Might as well put you there. Okay, I swear we're almost done. Just a few things left, you guys. Okay, so this one is Moon Dust from Urban Decay. This is just um, an eyeshadow which is really, really, really pretty because it's, it's like a greenish. Ooh, it's in the shade Zodiac. Ooh. So these two I'm very confused about because they don't, yeah, they don't have a label. I don't know who this is from, but it's in warm walnut and warm sand. I'm assuming they are foundation um, testers. I think the warm walnut is in my shade, so I'm definitely going to try that. I just, I got to look this up and figure out who it's from. But yeah, I got those two little foundations. All right, we're, we're gearing towards the end, you guys. All right, and then, ooh, I don't even know if I had this. So I got a NARS um, Charlotte Gainsbourg. I guess this is in, it's cold liner. So it's another liner. Ooh, pretty. Oh, but it's in like an emerald green. Oh, girl. Wow, I'm blessed. <laughs> Damn it. I have a Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for dry sensitive skin, which I always need. It's from Cetaphil. And then, ooh, Charlotte Tilbury. Wow, again, I'm blessed. This is Lip Cheat. Reshape and resize lip liner. Um, see that? Let's get in there. I like that. I like this shade a lot. It's in Pink Venus. Okay. Oh, wait. No. Nope. Two more. Two more. So this one is from CYO, which I've never heard of. Eyeliner marker pen. Ooh. In the shade black. Oh, oh yes, I did try this. This is very funky, okay? Because look at that. Like, isn't that weird? Oopsies. Isn't the pen weird? Like, I don't... But I mean, it goes on like a liner. So, I don't know. I'm excited to try this. This is, again, from CYO. And I don't know what company that is, but... Nevertheless, I will try it. Okay, and last but not least, you guys. I got... <clears throat> Cosmetic London's Eyelore X Nicole Guerrero. Um, her lashes in what are these ones called? Define. Well, there you go. So she gave me her lashes, and I'm so excited to try them. I really am excited. <laughs> well, that's all the junk I have in here, guys. There's nothing left. I have shown you. <laughs> everything i know this is going to be a very very long video so thank you guys for sitting <laughs> with me through this Whew, okay that was a lot of stuff um so it, oh, God. 
again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to Nicole Guerrero for um, doing a giveaway and picking me as one of the winners. I am so blessed and so thankful for this huge box of makeup. Um, it, it really is just a blessing because if even if I can't use this makeup personally, um, it really does help build my kit and it just furthers, furthers me along in this journey of becoming a makeup artist. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much again to Nicole Guerrero. You are just a blessing and I'm so, so grateful for, you know, just your, uh, your kindness and um, your selflessness. That was such a selfless um, act and it does not go unnoticed. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of unboxing. It was a lot of makeup, a lot of skincare, um, but I hope y'all liked it. Um, I have missed doing YouTube so, so much. <laughs> I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. So thank you guys for watching and um, thank you for always supporting me. And I will see you guys again next week, I promise, with another new video. Mwah.